Alrighty, this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we're going to jump straight into your messages for this week. This is going to resonate for, I think, I don't think I said that, but this is going to resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgos. If you do not have those placements, check out my other videos, guys. <laughs> Also, if you'd like to get a personal reading, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com where you guys can go ahead and book and purchase merch and stuff like that. So make sure you guys check that out if you're interested. Oh my gosh. Virgos for February 18th through the 21st. Oh, alrighty. So Virgos, I really feel as if um, some of you guys are finally going to be at your breaking point when it comes to a person that you're dealing with. Okay. You may finally come to a space of, okay, I just want to block you. Like you may finally come to that realization that you just don't want to deal with someone. All right. You don't want to continue putting work into the situation. You don't want to continuously act as if things are okay. Um, you're going to finally be at that point of just being like, I'm done. All right. This could be a love situation for some of you guys. That's not the case. It could be very different um, for everyone. But I feel like you guys are really going to be focused on your sense of stability more than anything this week. Um, putting things in place to make sure that you're actually solid. Okay. Solid in your movements. Solid in your foundation. Solid in your convictions. Okay. Sorry, we have cards falling all on the floor, guys. Give me one sec. Alrighty. Um, I also feel as if there is going to be somebody trying to come back. And guys, I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me saying that in your readings. I don't know if it's this sign that I keep seeing that for or another sign. I just keep seeing it for a lot of signs for some reason. But there's some sort of reunion that's trying to come into play whether that's like somebody else trying to come towards you or you guys trying to go towards them but i really feel like you guys are going to be dealing with somebody who you're going to have to really convince or they're going to have to really convince you that things are going to be different or that the connection's actually going to flow this time i also feel as if you guys are going to be in the space of just getting stuff under control. Like I said, if you're not energetically feeling it, you're not going to let people see that. You're just going to focus on handling your business. All right. And some of you guys may be going out to celebrate with friends around you or people who care about you for some accomplishments. Others of you, this is just you guys like going out there and just enjoying life. Okay. Make sure you're not drinking too much or that you're not doing too much partying because that may take a, a toll on your health. Okay. And others of you, I feel like getting some sort of checkup or some sort of look at what's going on going on with your body would be important as well because some of you guys are just overworking yourself or not working yourself enough okay whatever that means And what I'm seeing here for your spiritual guidance, I feel like you guys do need to make sure that you're calling in your soul tribe, people who resonate with your, your energy and people who can definitely give you a reflection to what you're going through or act as a mirror as well to help you see who you are and how much you've evolved as well. All right. And you need to trust your path overall, like understand that where you're headed is your divine path especially with this card it's your divine path so be open to it understand that you are being supported no matter what so if you are you know feeling as if you don't have physical support understand that you have support in the ethers you have your spirit guide supporting you you have the universe supporting you so continue to push forward here 
All right. And with you continuing, continuously pushing forward, make sure you are building proper boundaries here and staying grounded so that people don't come into your force field and kind of throw you off. So <laughs> make sure you guys are doing that this week. That's going to be very important. Alrighty, the energy surrounding my Virgo's love life for this week. The guidance for my Virgo's for this week. And the feelings that my um, Virgo's cross watcher partner and person in question is feeling. Alright, so like I was kind of saying in the beginning part, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be at this space of wanting to separate from someone, alright? There may be drugs attached to this relationship, there may be just codependent energy, like somebody staying with the other person, or another person just being emotionally codependent on the other person, but there is going to be some sort of separation here to take some time apart. All right, and this may be due to the fact that you're not optimistic about your love life. So make sure that you are staying positive when it comes to just getting love and for your relationship to get better over time as well. But what I am seeing for the guidance, we do have make the effort in past life relationship. So the cards are telling you to make the effort. Make sure that you are putting in the time, the affection with your partner because i feel like there is a past life relationship or a deep connection that can develop between you and another person it's just a matter of how much effort somebody is going to put in all right so make sure that your partner's putting in effort as well if it's not you and what i am seeing for their feelings for you we do have unrequited love and this could be the one so their feelings for you could be very conflicted, honestly. I feel like this person feels as if it's unrequited, like they may feel more for you than you feel for them, or you may feel more for them than they feel for you, however it works, okay? I'm not going to try to pinpoint how it is for everybody because it's going to be different for everyone. But they're trying to see whether or not you're the one for them or whether or not this is like going to work. Okay. But if you're not putting in effort, I will say that may be causing the unrequited love situation. So keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and do a spread, guys. What's going on, my Virgos, for February 18th through the 25th? All right. This week's energy, last week's energy, the guidance the focus, and the outcome for this week. Alrighty, Virgo. So you may be dealing with an Aries. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the full card. This could be you guys wanting to take some sort of leap of faith or going towards a new beginning here. All right, but there may be like some sneaky ass... Oh, wow. This, there may be some sneaky ass energy going on between this Aries or whoever you're dealing with, okay? Um, and for some reason, it's just not stable guys because somebody's either avoiding the other person or somebody's being sneaky and because of that the foundation is not built on anything concrete and there's issues with the give and take as well i feel like there needs to be more of a balance and harmony within this connection but the energy coming into this week guys you guys are showing up as the two of swords Clarifying the two of swords, we do have the two of pentacles. So we have two twos already. So you guys may be mentally at a crossroads about what to do. Like you may be feeling one way, but mentally feeling another way. Like your emotions are saying one thing and then your mind saying another. Or there may be two different viewpoints kind of clashing between you and whoever you're dealing with. But you guys are trying to make some decisions. You guys are trying to weigh out what to do next okay you could be juggling two people for some of you guys others of you there could be somebody that you're dealing with that's juggling two people and you may not know what to do when it comes to this connection all right this may be another earth sign or this may be you guys but last week's energy you guys are showing up as the four of cups clarifying the four of cups i do have the ace of wands so you guys were very dissatisfied with 
how things were moving with you and your partner um, or just in life, period. Like, very blah, very bored, very just, like, discontent. And you did want to start something new here. This may have been, like, a new passionate relationship, a new job, a new creative business, whatever it may be here, okay? But I feel as if there was a level of confusion or not really knowing what's what when it comes to who you were dealing with or just the energy and the connection overall, okay? And also there may have been heavy drug use as well in the past, all right? But what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have the Nine of Swords energy clarifying that we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys do need to make sure that you're coming out of your head and that you're not having unwarranted fear or worry or anything of that sort and making sure that you guys are moving slowly with your connections and not just jumping into stuff uh, especially if you do want to avoid any sort of mishaps or skipping any important details you want to make sure that you are moving meticulously with the people that you're dealing with and if you are having a sense of anxiety about your money moving uh, a little slow understand that you guys are needing to now take a stand and be in control of your money. Make sure that you guys are not just spending frivolously or that you guys are just, like I said, being very meticulous in your movements. All right. And the focus for this week, we do have the death card clarified by the four of swords. So this may be to end some situations, parts of yourself, a cycle here. Um, ending that and stepping into new energy and I feel like you guys are wanting to take some time to yourself overall because you are having a lot of energy surrounding like anxiety worry so the focus this week is for you guys to end that <laughs> end that um cycle of being like anxious and maybe even taking a break from somebody for some of you guys this may be a Scorpio or others of you may be actually taking a break from a Scorpio because you're anxious, okay? I'm seeing a lot of scenarios. But for the outcome, we do have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Swords. So you guys are going to be cutting people off with the quickness, all right? This may be an air sign, another earth sign, whoever it is. But you're definitely going to be cutting somebody off with the quickness this week, okay? Because you may feel as if you don't know what's next for this or you feel like there's secrets being kept from you. All right, and if it's not you guys doing it, this is somebody else doing it to you guys possibly. So I will be aware of that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Virgos cross watcher partner person in question for February 18th through the 25th, please. Virgos cross watcher partner person in question for February 18th through the 25th. Alrighty, so I feel like this person is very much guarded, like they've gone through a lot with you or just in their relationships, period. Um, and they're trying to push forward, but there's still things that they haven't cleared out of their path for them to finally give to you, all right? Yeah, they still have to walk away from some... from some situations involving mind games or, like just backstabby energy period but um this person is coming into awareness of the fact that you guys do need to take a break from each other especially if there was cheating and secrets being kept from each other they're aware <laughs> they know that there needs to be a break so that you guys can figure out what's going on here um also they may be aware of the fact that you may be avoiding them because you don't know what to do all right especially if you are dealing with a scorpio they're trying to look at the time they put into this, though, and they are at a crossroads about what to do. Um, I feel like they do want to communicate with you, especially if you are dealing with an air sign. Looks like a Gemini for some of you guys. Um, and they want to communicate about what's going to happen with this relationship. They have a lot of anxiety here, uh, feeling hurt and having issues with opening up. They also feel as if you may have some issues with opening up to them as well. So they may not be coming back around because of that. 
but that's what I'm seeing for the cross watcher. Thank you, Virgos, so much for watching this. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video and comment below. And like I said, make sure you do check out my description box to go ahead and book your own appointment if you're interested in that. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. And I will talk to you, Virgos, in your next reading. Bye, guys.